got a very worthy interruption here. Yeah. SSF High Command John with the Whoa. 100. Damn. Hey, thank, thank you for the you. bones there. He says, Thanks hey there, so Sammy. About to come into some settlement money, and I was wondering what you think I should invest in. I saw some vans for sale cheap. Thinking about starting a cleaning company or maybe going to pilot school. I'm interested in your opinion on what to do with this money. I've said this before. I'll say it again. If you come into, if you if you've never had money and you suddenly have money, uh, set it aside and just make sure you don't blow it on anything until you know how to make money. How to make money? Because if you've never started a business, if you've never lost a huge amount of money, you don't you don't know how quickly the costs add up or how uh, and, and also just a loss is way worse than a gain. Uh, if you lose 90%, if you gain 90%, that's not really a big deal. Like you almost doubled your money, but whatever. If you lose 90%, you're just, you're wiped out. Yeah. You lost nine tenths of your money. You have, from there, you have to go, you have to 10x from there to get back to, to get back to the start. So a loss is way worse. Losing money is, is terrible. So don't lose money. Don't waste it. Set it aside until you know what you're doing, until you figure something out. Um, you could even set a date, like say you're not going to touch it for five years and then just live the, your, your life for the next five years in a more focused way, thinking about what you could do with that money. Um, all, my, all my shit is in Bitcoin. All your shit is in silver. Do you got any points for that? Um, yeah, but I don't... I don't when I talk about investment, it I feel like it might influence people to like get risky with their stuff. Yeah, um, invest. I, you, in, in, no, you don't. Nobody's ever made money investing. Yeah. Well, anybody we've talked to has yeah, just lost yeah. all their shit because it's like I know there's Reddit posts where it's like I got four hundred percent today. Yeah, yeah. Everybody you and you or I know has oh, lost yeah. all their shit. Yeah. I don't know a single person who's like up on the whole from investing. They've all just burned through it all. Yeah, I can't name. I can't name anybody. I don't know anybody. I don't know anybody who's made money investing. They're long, all losers. Long holds are good if you really know and if you know it's gonna work out. But the same way you don't know that your drop shipping business is gonna work out, you probably shouldn't start it. So uh, just be in no rush to spend it. Probably. I like I like silver. I like gold. Sam likes Bitcoin. I think they're both gonna do well, but. But the I'm point not a, I'm not an investment point advisor. being just hold it and don't blow it because every as soon as you get any amount of money you're just gonna blow it that's what everybody does then and, and it, it's especially dangerous when you don't when the money came to you from ex, some external source through, through happenstance or through some windfall that you didn't necessarily earn then your like psychological value of that money is not tied to it in the same way as if you built it up yourself and you're more apt to, to blow through it uh, with the feeling of, the, of no consequences for that reason. But yeah, man, good luck to you. When he said, I'm thinking about buying a van, I thought he was about to say... Van life. Yeah, I'm about to start van life, and then I was like, oh, here we go. But yeah. then he said, for a cleaning company, that's... that's uh, I think your mind's pretty close to where it needs to be. Lastly here, Mr. Uh, check out HoboJo421. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Big Smitty, thank you for the recommendations out here. Free Alpha...